Well, good evening, everyone, or maybe good morning, depending where you're joining us from. You are looking at the ever usual foggy Vandenberg Space Force Base at Cal in California, where SpaceX is counting down to launch of another SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. We are now in the point of Strongback Retract as teams continue through the final four and a half minutes of the count. On board today's uh, payload, 23 Starlink V2 Minis. These are all regular V2 Minis, no direct to sell. But what's exciting about this mission, this is the first group of the ever 11th group of the Starlink first generation constellation. Uh, we are going to work on syncing our countdown clock here with theirs in a moment. And of course, listen in to Mission Control as we go through the final minutes of the count. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name is Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad and here at TOP. It's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. And we're glad to have you joining us for this ever early morning launch. Quick programming note, we are continuing the countdown to launch of the SpaceX CRS mission launching from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station that scrubbed this morning. It is still on the schedule for tomorrow, but uh, for those that are not following the weather closely, there is a hurricane developing. Her, uh, Tropical Storm Debbie is approaching Florida, so we are unsure if they're going to try to thread the needle and launch tomorrow or not. It is a 90% chance of violation for weather, uh, but it is still on the launch schedule, so we're keeping a close eye on that. As we get started, take a moment, let us know where you're watching from in the chat. We got Fallen in San Diego. We got Tom watching from Victoria, Australia. Peter's in the UK. Great to see you there. We've also got uh, Boeing is in Germany. We've got, I do not know how to say your name. I'm so sorry, from Hungary. I'm not even going to try because I'm going to butcher it. We got Jason in Germany. Uh, we have JBT is in the UK as well. Franco is, I believe that is Italy. We got Czech Republic. Great to see you all tuning in bright and early this morning. If you haven't yet, take a moment, engage the like button, share it the stream, invite people to join us as we count down the final two and a half minutes of today's flight. Today's Falcon 9 booster is booster 1082 going for its sixth flight after previously supporting USF, USSF 62 and four previous Starlink missions. This is its sixth mission here today. SpaceX's autonomous drone ship, of course, I still love you, is stationed downrange in the Pacific Ocean, ready to recover today's booster. They did have backup opportunities that ran all the way till 3.52 Pacific local time. Thank goodness they didn't go that long. We all would like some sleep, I'm sure. But if for any reason they don't go today, they have backup opportunities starting on Monday at 12.24 a.m. Eastern time. We are now just under two minutes in counting. The next major call-out moment will be the moment when Falcon 9 takes over the count. That'll be at the T-minus one minute mark. That's also when Falcon 9 will begin pressurizing its tank to flight levels. It'll be immediately followed by that final go-no-go -no -go from the launch director. But as always, as we come down Stage to two, locks load complete. the last 90 seconds of the count, let's see that go-no-go -go -no -go from you guys in the chat. If you're not a TLP member yet, consider hitting the join button. Just 99 cents a month gets you access to those TLP at launch emotes. You can hear the final count as they prepare the vehicle for launch. T minus 70 seconds. Falcon 9 is in startup. T minus 50, waiting for that final go. LD is go for launch. If you're just joining us, you're looking at an ever foggy Vandenberg, where we're at T-minus 30 seconds and counting to the launch of Starlink 11-1. T-minus 20 seconds. Make sure you've engaged that like button and listen in to SpaceX Mission Control as Falcon 9 prepares liftoff from California. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, ignition, and liftoff. Go Falcon, go Falcon. T 
vehicle is pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressures are nominal. T plus 24 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 beginning its journey carrying 23 Starlink V2 minis to low Earth orbit. The next a moment in the next sequence will begin is max Q. That's the moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket, set to occur 1 minute 7 seconds into flight. As always, when the booster goes into a coast phase, beginning its journey back down to Earth, we'll be answering your guys' comments and, nominal. and questions. You can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad, so we have those ready for that coast phase in just a few minutes. But Falcon 9's first stage coming up to 60 seconds into flight, now traveling over 1,200 kilometers an hour, passing 9 kilometers in altitude. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And we should have reached that moment of max Q. Max Q. There's that call out there. Falcon 9 traveling now over 2,000 kilometers an hour, passing 17 kilometers in altitude, traveling downrange from Vandenberg Space Force Station in the U.S. If you happen to be from the Los Angeles or San Diego region and take photos or videos from today's flight, make sure you tag us on social media uh, at TLPN underscore official on X or the Launchpad Network on Facebook or Instagram. You can also send us those photos over on the TLP Discord. Stage That's where our community show. hangs out in between streams. We would love to see you there. The next uh, sequence, well, the next moment on the sequence of events is Miko, and that'll kick off a busy 30 seconds on the vehicle, starting with Miko, or first, main, first stage main engine cutoff, immediately followed by first and second stage separation, MVAC engine start, or SES-1, fairing uh, grid fin deploy and then fairing deployment that all kicks off two minutes 26 seconds into flight completes two minutes 56 seconds into flight and that's when the first stage will begin coasting to its apogee before it's returned to earth two minutes 20 seconds falcon 9 now halfway to the carmen line traveling over 7200 kilometers an hour let's listen for the callouts miko Stage separation confirmed. Stage two startup. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you have good visuals and callouts for all of those sequence of events. Falcon 9's first stage now coasting to its apogee. That's the highest point in its flight. The first stage continuing under power towards its initial parking orbit before it does a final burn. That secondary burn will occur once we're off air. 53 minutes, 53 seconds into flight for one second to finalize its orbit. With Starlink deployment expected one hour, 47 minutes into flight. Now the first stage is coasting up to that apogee. Take a moment, take a guess what you think that will be at. That's that altitude in the bottom left corner. We've seen this range anywhere from 109 to 118 to 121. Take a moment, let us see your guess there in the chat. And you can send in those comments and questions. We are now in that coast phase as the first stage heads to apogee. Then we'll begin descending back down to the Earth. It will conduct an entry burn at 6 minutes, 5 seconds into flight. That entry burn tonight lasting 24 seconds. We'll get two more of that here in a moment. Keeping a close eye on that speed and altitude. Colin says 114. Zero says 117. Boeing says 117. Windbreaker 116. Ryan 117. It looks like 116. To me, as the speed has now begun increasing, and it has begun, hit its apogee and has begun descent back down to Earth. The drone ship, of course, I still love you, downrange in the Pacific Ocean, ready to recover the booster. Now having completed its sixth ascent, booster 1082 now attempting its sixth recovery. This was on a 46-day turnaround for today. Following that entry burn, it will conduct a landing burn 7 minutes 51 seconds into flight before touching down on the drone ship just after that 8 minute into flight mark. You guys can keep sending those questions in the chat by taking us at the launch pad. 
Uh, Addo says, sitting in my dorm at Vandenberg, and it rattles the building pretty audibly. That is awesome. You should have gone outside. Mind you, it was Vandenberg. It might have been foggy. You might not have been able to see it. Um, Mark says, when will launches happen the from six? Continue to follow nominal trajectories. Just listening for the call outs there from slick six. Um, ah, uh, that's a very good question. I don't, I have to look up that one and see what they're doing. I know they were looking at, uh, changing that pad over. Uh, but, uh, I believe that was for Falcon heavy launches. Uh, but, uh, we haven't had any timeline uh, as to when they want to be able to uh, take over those launches uh, from Slick 6. There's a lot to do. Slick 6, that historic site that uh, we saw Delta 4 Heavy fly from, was supposed to be that incredible space shuttle pad uh, prior to the unfortunate Challenger accident. Uh, but uh, it will have Falcon Heavy there, uh, hopefully, in the next Stage few one years. Stage 1 entry burn startup. There we have entry burn and now underway on the first stage. It begins re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn shut down. And now the first stage is flying, free falling through the atmosphere, 34 kilometers in altitude above the drone ship, still traveling over 5,300 kilometers an hour. Just watch how it bleeds Stage off that one, speed using finished. just its body and its grid fins in preparation for landing burn. As always, you can stay up to date on the latest launch coverage of what launches are happening from around the world over at tlpnetwork.com slash launches. And head over to tlpnetwork.com slash news to stay up to date on the latest space news from around the world as well. We're working on getting a lot more articles out there and expanding that news team to bring you even more coverage. So definitely consider checking that out. As well as our 24-7 Starbase camera, where we are following Stage along two. as they stack the sixth Stage segment two, uh, at the Starbase second tower today. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into flight. The second stage now passing over 20,000 kilometers in altitude, heading to its initial parking over orbit. And we are awaiting for the landing burn to begin on the first stage. So it's set to touch down on the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Downrange at the Pacific Ocean. Let's listen for the callouts. Stage one landing burn. Stage two, terminal guidance. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. And there we have it, Falcon 9 successfully landing on the drone ship. Of course, I still love you, down by the Baja of California, the second stage Continuing that dogleg maneuver, heading to its initial deployment orbit. We'll hopefully get to still see the live visuals here as it reaches Seco 1. That expected 8 minutes, 40 seconds into flight. If you haven't yet, make sure you engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage, space news update, or exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. Got lots of things underway that we can't wait to share with you in the near future. And make sure to join us over on the TLP Discord, as that's where our community hangs out in between streams. We've got Seco 1 there confirmed, altitude of 137 kilometers, so that's where we're going to leave it here tonight. We are counting down possibly to the launch of a Falcon 9 from Florida tomorrow morning, though it's got 90% chance of violation. I saw a question in the chat, how many Starlinks does that make it in orbit? As of July, SpaceX had launched 6,281 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. 6,206 are still working as of the last update in early July, and we know in July they had that uh, two-week break, but they still were able to launch in there another probably 100 uh, to 150 uh, plus, so they are definitely approaching that 7,000 number uh, probably next month or so, so we're keeping an eye on that. You can always count on TLP to bring you full live coverage of every Starlink launch, but also launches from around the world, so make sure you engage that subscribe button. But that's going to do it for us here tonight from our TLP Canada studio. My name's Zach. We will see you next time, because space is better together. Good night. Get some sleep.